to something a little bit different. Expeditions, a mud runner game. Now, if you're a diehard mud runner fan, you're probably in the wrong place. I am far, far from an expert on this game. Um, if you just like my content, hey, hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, and it's a bit of an experiment. So I played Spin Tires back when it released, and I loved that game. I didn't play Mud Runner. Um, have played a bit of Snow Runner, and have played a tiny bit of this game, but I've been keeping it to make content on. So I am on Colorado. I'm on like the third. I'm on the first map. I'm on like the third mission. I've just got it queued up. I have no idea if I've got a good loadout. I've not really watched many much of people playing the game because I want to keep it quite fresh. I've watched a little bit and uh, we're going to give this a go. So yeah, buckle up. It could be interesting. And we are off to try and recover a truck. And uh, if I can work out how to control the map again, I think we want to be heading... Um, I did wonder if maybe we want to try and get through here and then um, I'm not sure if we want can climb up we need to look maybe up there is the place to climb I'm not sure we might have to break the drone out once we've got over that way it's probably worth I want to stop by the airdrop over there actually to pick up a um an anchor so go do that and uh we'll carry on from there i think yeah so i say i've, I've only played the game a tiny bit and uh yeah it's uh it's proving to be a lot of fun please bear with me as i work out kind of settings and camera angles and stuff i've never tried to record videos on a game like this before uh, yeah we'll just see how we get on i think and yeah if, if you're a mega diehard expeditions fan just try and not cringe too much um, yep so we're gonna grab the uh the anchor that's there because it's a good one and then we'll try and make our way along here so the only reason that i deployed two vehicles is the mission briefing said to take two trucks and i don't know if it meant to have two trucks with you or the fact that you were rescuing a truck so you'd end up with two trucks uh, but yeah we could be in for our first point where we have to do some recovery I'm sure some of my regulars are here to watch me crash. No. Anywho, off we go. All right. Yeah, so I, I I loved Spin Tires. I didn't play it particularly seriously. It was a game that I just enjoyed the idea of, really. Um, so, yeah, do we stop by... And I know we can get down there. Maybe go down there, around there, and across. And we can stop by the air drop. So that would be that, I think. Um, yep. Yeah. You will see that I have amazing sense of direction and driving talents so let's see if we can get ourselves out of here that's a good start isn't it um right and yeah hey I know how we can do this We've got a second truck. Onwards. It's fine. So I did customise the um, the truck we were just in to add better wheels. Tyres, technically, I guess. 
Uh, this one I did not. I did put some spare parts and some fuel on this guy. So yeah, but I think mainly we're just going to use this one to go winch out our first truck if we can get there without getting this one stuck as well. If we can, we'll try and get a mission done today. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Um, but we'll see how much time that takes. It's, so one of the things that I really enjoy about this game, or this type of game, is that generally you end up creating your own adventure. Because you do stuff like I've done already. Um, yeah. Uh, you get you get yourself in a situation right off the bat where you're stuck. So no, that's not where I wanted to connect to. Right. I must be able to connect to the back of the truck. This is my first attempt at actually having to recover a truck. Amazingly, and uh, are you seriously saying that I can't? Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's get that out of there. It should be a pretty easy recovery, really. Mm, yep, there we go. Nice. Let me swap trucks, please. I've not clearly, clearly not mastered the controls of this game, so. We're going to swap trucks the way I know how to and do that. So, right, let's go. Onwards with our adventure. But deploying two trucks has already had a benefit. Right. Uh, I think up here, I think I'm heading in the right direction. Yep. Up and over here, we'll grab the airdrop. Um, and that, I'm doing that partly because of a tips video I watched, which pointed out that you can uh, keep your old income ticking along by picking those up. So that, um, that anchor that I picked up is worth five grand. So if you just want to make some cash, just uh, drive out, grab it, return to headquarters because you don't get charged on this map for returning to headquarters and gain five grand and that's I, I, I did a little bit of that to gain some cash so don't judge so what have we got we've got some dinosaur bones and we'll grab the anchor And yeah, I'm going to try and skirt around the edge of this, because I'm pretty sure we can. <laughs> yeah, because I've done it once before, so that's why I'm pretty sure we can. There we go. I'm just saying, I know these early missions are relatively easy, but hey. Easy is good as we learn this new game. Back into the map. And yeah, we're headed that way. I am someone who is not afraid to use the destination markers to, uh, to get me around. And some people sometimes don't like using those, but it's a function of the game, so I will make use of it. And I, two of my regulars is amazed that I've only kind of crashed once. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Right. I am, so I'm playing for, if it's not already obvious, I am playing on PC. I actually know if the game's available on other platforms. That is because I've watched Mr. CDP play and he plays on console. I'm playing on PC, but I'm playing with a PS4 controller because it seems like a nice way of playing. So I do have a, a wheel and all that jazz, but um, I think the controller is probably easier because I do have some neck problems sometimes and it does aggravate them. So. Yeah. 
that's where we're headed. Um, I think probably not that. That one. I am going to ping the Echo Sound. Well, we, I, I think when, when once we get into some of the other areas of the map, we get to unlock people that make some of those things much more effective. So, at the moment, they're kind of useful little toys. Useful little toys. So here we go. Here we are. Deliver the truck. So use the winch to pull the truck out of the swamp. After the winch is secured, turn the engine on. Load truck. Okay. So. I actually want to. Where am I taking it to? That way. I also put the extended winch on. So. There we go. Uh, no, not that. Uh, this is where me being a PC player is maybe more obvious because I am much more used to using the controls available when I was on the PC. But there we go. So let's. Uh, and not the engine or the other truck. Yeah, I think if I head up here, we can uh, maybe get it out of the water and on to some rock. That might be better. Come on. And yeah, so far we've not. I was about to say we've not needed the second truck. Let's ignore the fact that I had to recover myself because I was a bit dumb. Yeah, there we go. Lovely stuff. Uh, pay attention. Um, I wonder if it will let me put the drone. Yep. Yeah, so. so we can actually see what we're doing. Because I kind of... Yeah. Uh, skip time. I hate videos like this when they are in the dark. There we go. So I'm going to head that way. And by that way, I mean to the left. Yeah, it, it, one, one of my pet peeves with 
videos like this uh, and some other types of you know kind of similar videos like this is uh, when they played in the dark and you can't see what the person's doing it drives me nuts uh, I don't think we're gonna get up there let's uh, let's redeploy the drone now it's daytime uh, no, we're not going to get up there. So, we need to go around the back. Yeah, we need to go around the back. So, mm, this could be fun. Let's see if we can get turned around. Encourage him to go around this tree. Looks like no. Looks like no. I've released the winch. I'm going to tow him backwards. That'll work. That'll work. If it's stupid, but it works. It's not stupid, remember. for us? Yep. Good job. Semi-smart NPC driver. Three. More smart than human driver, maybe. There we go. Come around. Come in through the back. No laughing at the back children. And up here. And into here. I'm guessing. There we go. Mm. Lovely. So. of money from reselling the bits that we picked up we lose a little bit from selling the jack screws but it's okay what we're going to do now is turn to the headquarters and pick up another mission because we're, we're going too long so uh, we will pick up the last mission on here so we need to do some vibrating Again, no laughing at the back, children. So I think for this one, we are looking at using the step and devices and frames. And we want to add the seismic vibrator. We're going to customization. We could get the lift kit. That might be worth doing. And it's probably worth getting the better tires. We've got the extended winch. We've got an engageable diff lock. We've got the snorkel. We want to spray it red. I know it's a more boring paint job, but it's what I like. So, yeah. Let's go. Uh, so we're going to set off from there. And we'll see how we get on with this one. And that will be this area done. So get out of camp. Okay, boss. Uh, yeah, I think this is one of the last missions that I watched. Um, Mr. CDP do if you don't know who he is um because you're watching this because you're new to my channel he's a farm sim content creator a bit like me so 
who also enjoys these games. So. Right, actually, let's have a peek at the map. They're just generally telling us to get out of camp by the same of things. So, let's do that. Off we go. Let's try not to get stuck in the same spot again. Really got anything with us this time to help us recover, so trying to get us up on that spot up there. Um, I was trying to get us all the way up there. We should have deployed from that one, shouldn't we? So let's let's cheat a little bit. And because we're not being charge will recover to there. You didn't see that, okay. Maybe that was trying why it was trying to get us to go there. There we go. Right. The seismic vibrator is used in geological expeditions to show the distance to the points it shows the distance to points in the upper right part of the screen. You determine the direction yourself. At a distance of less than 150 meters from the point, a sound signal is activated. If the distance to the point is less than 10 meters, you can start scanning. Okay. So, uh, do we... Uh, what do we do? we drive until we're less than 10 meters from the area it wants us to explore and it's the sound of the map where it wants us to be not really and it wants up there maybe i don't know you're probably shouting at the screen that's fine i wouldn't blame you you know what you're doing i don't I have no clue. No. We'll see if we can do something. We are less than 10 meters. Sound of our drone, winch, inventory, uh, inventory, okay, um, left one, no, right one, no, I have no clue what I'm, there we go, uh huh. said we determined the direction didn't it so okay let's just drive i guess onwards and we will seismologize didn't realize i wanted to be a seismologist oh that's fine it's fine it'll buff it'll buff out it'll buff out and I guess the, one of the nice things about these opening missions, he says probably about to curse himself, is that they are relatively short and therefore so far I have not yet managed to completely trash a vehicle. Which is quite good. So... That's... Uh, Get 
one thing that I think is really nice about this game is how it looks. I know Mr. Far Mr. Farquhar, Mr. Farouk, the former WWE wrestler. Um, if you're watching, I made it this far without mentioning it. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's it's a really nice looking game. I got to admit that. Um, I'm playing on almost ultra settings. Almost ultra. Um, I've had to turn down a tiny bit because my computer is a little bit unhappy. But yeah, it's a very nice looking game. I kind of liking how the vehicles feel. Uh, it's the first one of these that I've played on anything other than keyboard and mouse. Hence my comment about the winch controls. And yeah, I'm liking playing it on controller. Very nice. It's nice having a an analog rather than digital throttle. Um, and it's nice having. You know, I, I've I've really not watched a lot of people play. As I said, I'm trying to experience the game fresh myself. Um, but it's nice having some stuff that's a bit different. I mean, if 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 you played spin tires all all that time way back when. You know, you, you loaded trees up and you delivered trees. And that was it. So, hey, we are done. Back to headquarters. So, yeah, that, that was all you did. You loaded trees up and literally you did nothing else but that. Um, and then on... Um, SnowRunner, I, I, I only played a very small amount of SnowRunner. I will admit that. Um, but even that, it felt like it got a little bit repetitive. So it's really nice that so far I found this to be a game that kind of doesn't feel like that. It's felt like things are, are pretty different. Actually, let's just quickly go grab. We'll go grab the, uh, the anchor and make a little bit of cash. No. Um, yeah, I don't remember whose video this was that I watched, but you can you can in a couple of minutes, you can very quickly make you know, decent amounts of money. Um, basically, you and it, if if you're good, even less time. But I mean, this is this is seconds. This is utter seconds. Um, come up here, hit trade, grab, and that's five grand. So, return to headquarters, five grand in the bank. So yeah, that's that. Anyway, I am going to, uh, we'll, just, we'll just jump back in the vehicle. But yeah, I'm going to call it a day here and see what you guys think. I think next time we will start exploring the new area, which I've not done at all and I'm not going to do until you guys are with me but yeah if you enjoyed this click the like button i'm gonna say thank you to my patrons and my youtube channel members appreciate you guys supporting the channel don't know if any of you have watched if you've made it this far um any comments questions or suggestions stick them below yes i know i am an utter noob at this game and i'll see you next time